right? You keep the kids happy. There used to be one where it's two pictures side by side, and they look almost identical until you look at them closely. And you're supposed to find those seven or eight differences. They still have things like that on cereal boxes and stuff like that. When you first look at these missiles, first glance, oh, they're about the same. But then if you look at them closer, you realize there's quite a bit of difference. This was number 69 of 70 built, development for flight profile testing. It had, though, that nasty engine I was talking about in it. Bigger versions of the Ajax engines, the liquid fuel type engines, the kind that used four different fuels mixing at the nozzle, and when they mixed, they burn, okay? Hypergolic, and then they would fire. This one had the uh, antennas. They, when they were testing, they moved, had them all the way to the rear. <laughs> Wasn't a good idea. Hot gas was coming out of the back. They found out the radar we didn't like to go through hot ionized gas. They had a little trouble controlling it. Therefore, when they finally made the final whistle, the four antennas up front on the fence to transmit to receive. Also on the fins, they decided they needed some better stability. So as part of the guiding system, they had pitot tubes that measure the cross pressure differential on all sides of it and would could uh, correct for starting to go like this, spiraling or something like that to keep a stable, stable flight. Now this missile wasn't very smart. It only accepted about whew, four commands. Pitch, roll, y'all, and explode. That's all they needed because it had to be guided all the way to start starting. As I've said many times here, and I usually probably create a fight or two before mom and dad gets home, it was like a damn good marriage. The missile was a husband, and he was doing all the moving and driving, but he had to be told where to go by mama, who was back home in the radar station telling him how to get there, okay? So it had to be guided all the way, told to explode, and then the next one. So, any other questions? Okay. I, 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 yeah. I want a clarification. Sure. Why did they feel they needed nuclear? It was just a bomber. They wanted to take out a lot of bombers. Because oh, okay. they figured it was going to be a swarm, swarm of bombers. Is what they figured they had, and they wanted to be able to take out a lot of bombers with one bomb. Okay. okay. So, but here in the Bay Area, we had 11 areas at one point. But at the time it phased out, they still had seven. So we could have seven missiles flying to a an individual target area exploding and then another one being launched. So they each had their own frequencies to fly on and they also could prevent jamming and stuff. But they did have to be guided each one individually by its own radar. Now they were very expensive for its time. People say, well, how expensive? The missile alone, in 1955, and some of its older enough to remember 1955 dollars, you could do a lot with them. It was $55,000 for the missile. Okay, you got six of them sitting down here. Okay. Now we add the warhead, that's another million dollars per missile. So you had 12 of them on this side. You could have 12 million dollars, if you will, in the 50s and 60s type money, just on the missiles alone. Now we got to have, pay for about oh, 180, 200 guys, people. I say guys primarily, mainly men at that time in the Army. Take care of it. Each site, how old we had it, almost 300 sites throughout the nation. Guess what? It was costing a lot of money. Now, by 72, we talked about salt treaty, getting rid of some nuclear weapons. But also, they weren't very effective anymore. What did we have by 72? Cold War is kind of over, moved on to intercontinental ballistic missile. So these things wouldn't do any good. So now you spend a whole lot of money for something that's not doing much good. And guess what? Russia had about the same thing. And it was costing them. So I don't care what they say about nuclear proliferation. I think a couple countries wanted to save a whole lot of money. So they start getting rid of, among other things, because it was costly and not being doing you any good anymore. Okay, any other questions? If not, what we're going to try to do is load back up. Again, all your side folks, very quiet. Get in tight on the on the elevator here. And we want to make sure the guy in the middle, so we don't get down the All the way, come all the way down. Make sure nobody gets hurt. Okay?
Okay, we're, and when we get up there, stay on board, because like when we started down, we're going to go beyond ground level. And what happens is there's four big fingers out there. There's a square thing sticking up up there. That comes out, and we settle down on it. makes us nice and solid, so we can use this platform for launching also. Okay, here we go. Got the little one back there. Okay, I hear him. And everybody's in. Here we go. As you get off this a little bit, I'm trying to determine what a safe load number is. Depends on how many cookies you've eaten, though. Hi. <laughs> Stay put, please, until we come to a complete stop. Okay, come on off, watching your step. If you step outside, watch out, things are wet and slippery. Just count it a little bit. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you.